Thank you everyone for joining us today to take a look at Step Recruiter. We're very fortunate today to have with us Bria Collier, the account manager for ZipRecruiter. We're going to talk about uh, the benefits of using ZipRecruiter. We have been very excited over the past few months to get our ZipRecruiter integration set up for everyone. It's one of the best job boards out there. Everything I've heard so far has been extremely positive. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just change the presenter over to Bria over here and we'll have her take us through the ZipRecruiter presentation. So hold on one second. Well, thank you guys for jumping on the line. Um, I'm super excited to kind of just give you guys uh, a quick intro into who we are. So like Lindsay said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, ask at the end, but I'm just going to give you guys a quick understanding of who we are. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So ZipRecruiter, here at ZipRecruiter, we help people find great jobs and help employers build great companies. That is our goal. We have 100, currently, I think it's plus at this point, but 100,000 employers post jobs on a monthly basis. So that number is increasingly growing. Um, I think that's currently up to, I want to say 150 and literally going up every month. So that's super exciting. We currently have 961 employees. That also is growing. Myself, I started about six years ago, and I was employee number 24. So it's a little, um, little crazy to see all these people. And trying to remember names is definitely not easy. So we are growing, and we are excited about that. Alrighty, and then out of that number, 250 engineers are focused primarily on job search, which is really, really beneficial for you guys because our candidate acquisition team is one of the largest and we really focus on bringing in that qualified traffic that you guys are looking for. And we post everywhere. That is a very simple concept that we live by. We have a team of account managers that focus on distribution solely and um, a whole analytics team where we are constantly focused on pushing your jobs out to all of the major sites, all of the job boards we could partner up with to bring back those candidates to your jobs. All right. So we have pow powerful features that make hiring simple for you guys. One of those is just saving time. We have a customizable job description template and we added pre-screen interview questions to ensure that you are seeing the most qualified candidates available to you. We have a super smart technology uh, system and we learn what candidates are looking for. We identify people with the right experience and we invite them to apply to your job. So that includes, um, of course, our distribution, but not only that, we also focus heavily on job um, email alerts as well. We have a really simple dashboard for you guys where you can manage, screen, and rank your candidates all on our easy to use candidate dashboard. So that all is available to you guys to make that process really simple. All right. We have um, thousands of reviews on Trustpilot. Uh, we are rated currently the number one hiring site in America, which is really exciting. We're really proud of that. And we are the number one rated job search app uh, via Android and Apple. So if you guys have a chance, um, I highly recommend you guys download that app. You may see your jobs through there. Um, that is one of our main ways as far as trying to um, really work with mobile traffic. I know it's a little bit difficult when people are applying through their phones. So we decided, well, you know what, let's build an app where they can upload their resume and um, use our one click apply method, which would come in handy for you guys because you guys can track that. And not only that, it's just a lot easier to see that mobile traffic. Um, and it's not necessarily when that resume comes in, it comes in in a really good format and it's a very seamless apply process through that. So our apps are doing really, really great right now. And ZipRecruiter is now a trusted partner of some of the biggest names in the industry. That includes Facebook, Google, ADP, and we are really marketing our partnerships out. So we currently have a thousand partners and growing. So those are a few there, American Express, Gatehouse, Salary, and the list really just goes on and on. So that's amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So for you guys, I really, really wanted to get you guys to really see what we see in terms of the future of recruiting and what we think that will be over the next few years. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So with Netflix, 70% of what people watch is based on algorithmic recommendations. 
So a lot of that is really just tracking what they're watching. And then they have a artificial intelligence system to really see exactly what, what they're watching, what they're clicking on and all of that good stuff. Same goes for Amazon. 35, 35% of what consumers purchase on Amazon comes from AI, AI driven recommendations. Spotify, same exact thing. 53% of users listen to music via Discover Weekly. So as you guys can see, it's kind of the same through every platform, whether it be through purchasing through Amazon, listening to music, watching on Netflix. It's really um, the AI, you know, as far as looking at the AI recommendations of it all, it's really booming in terms of what we're able to promote and what they're able to, uh, to see based off what they're currently watching. And with Google, since YouTube turned into an AI video recommendation, it has increased average watch by 50%. So it's increasingly going crazy. Consumer choice is increasingly powered by AI-driven recommendations instead of keyword search. So what does that mean for us in the recruitment industry? Well, we in the recruitment industry still see that job search is still keyword based. And so, of course, we know there's many different types of searches that job seekers can utilize to find that right job. That includes role specifics as far as retail, marketing, business. They can use any of those um, job categories, job titles, you know, to look for the great job, the best job. Or they could be employment type, whether it be part-time, full-time, um, salary, hourly, anything of that nature. And also perks and benefits. They can type in work from home, telecommute, etc. The only downside to that is we've noticed that 13% of those job seekers that we currently have that are searching on ZipRecruiter use blank queries, which, as we know, doesn't provide the best job. They'll get random jobs from warehouse to trucking, um, whatever positions we could find that don't exactly, um, it gets a little tricky when we're trying to match them up with that. So they'll get a plethora of random jobs, which we definitely don't want. So we asked ourselves back in 2015, how can we make our, our journey through the AI um, industry? So we decided how could we deliver five qualified applications to a new job within 24 hours? Because our issue has never been to provide traffic. We're able to really, you know, drive in candidates. But how can we get you guys the right candidates within a short time frame and to fulfill that position within a week? That's been our goal um, for the past couple of years. So we had to kind of shift our mindset from keyword based. And we wanted to look at a job seeker from a holistic view. And so we went from keywords from which is key, you know, job titles, job descriptions, resumes, location. And we decided to really look at the anatomy of a job seeker. And so that includes um, so many different uh, key points from work experience to applications they're applying to, um, the searches that they're doing on a daily basis, how long they could even be on our site, what are they really looking for proactively, if they have licenses, skills, what is their education, and it continues. And so that has actually extremely helped us when trying to target the right job seekers to the right jobs. So our models are trained on the huge amounts of data we generate. And so we currently have 8 million active job postings available to search for every single day. 55 million candidate quality rankings at all times. That's where you guys would come in on your dashboard and start rating the job seekers that are applying to your jobs. We also have 430 million candidate applications delivered at all time, plus hundreds of millions of activity signals, such as searches, clicks, and applies. So a lot of data there. And based on our initial success, we've aggressively expanded our AI capabilities to power new experiences through our products. So that includes, of course, our email job alerts that we push heavily on a daily basis. We have more, a feature that we call more candidates like this. So when you guys give a thumbs up to someone that you say, hey, that's a great fit for us, we then take a look at that job seeker specifically. We pull her profile, his or her profile base, and we generate more candidates that fall under that same um, criteria that we've seen from that initial candidate. We also post similar jobs. So what we do is once someone applies to a job, we then send them a confirmation email saying, hey, we got your application. Here's a, another list of jobs that we believe will fall under the right job you're looking for. And then we also provide something we call great match. So great match, of course, is the thumbs up, thumbs down feature that we have within ZipRecruiter. And that is it. So that's basically when we say, what do we have to offer as far as ZipRecruiter as a company and as a hiring um, job board and what we can deliver in terms of that is that we provide the right job seekers 
within 24 hours. That's been our goal and we are striving to perform that in excellence. And so when you guys do post your job, not only are you guys gonna see that traffic come in, but the goal is to provide the right candidate with every single qualification that you guys are looking for, whether it be with skills or licenses, whatever it may be, the job responsibilities within the resume. And you're really able to work with your team, whether you have a team of two or even 10, to really go in um, and utilize our dashboard where you guys can really rate the candidates you can talk directly to them if you're missing anything, if you want additional information on who they are uh, before setting up a hiring company, um, I'm sorry, before setting up an interview, or you guys can even use our pre-screening pre -screening questions. So that comes in handy. Um, we do yes or no questions, open form questions, where you guys can go in, um, add that to the actual job application process. And if they are not answering the questions correctly, they get filtered automatically. So it really saves you guys some time. And that is it. All right, that sounded perfect, Bria. Thank you so much. I hope I can talk to that for you guys. <laughs> so, um, what I want to just do is to just make sure everybody knows how to get your jobs onto ZipRecruiter through iRecruit. So, we're going to hop over into my iRecruit account here. Now, everybody already knows how to post a job, so we're going to skip that part. Um, and I'm going to just head over to, actually, I was going to go to manage requisitions, but actually let's start under application forms. As Bria mentioned, uh, ZipRecruiter does have screening questions. What they don't do is long application forms. So what we're used to, the you know set of questions, education, work history, licenses, we want to remove all of that for your ZipRecruiter application. So instead of having a long application, you have something that is very, very short uh, so that you can use. So contact information, obviously you're going to keep that. And then maybe four or five screening questions. As Bria said, they can be yes or no questions or open, open formats. So you can have um, all of these standard questions come from your iRecruit account and be entered back into the account once someone responds to your job, um, your job advertisement. So we want to take our short application and use that with, not specifically with the requisition, but with the advertisement itself. So if I go over to manage requisitions, and I have our position here for marketing assistant. Um, I select my advertise requisition section. You can click here, sponsor job on ZipRecruiter.com as well. That will also take us to the advertise requisition section. And this just pops up for us here where we can select where we want to send our jobs. So ZipRecruiter.com um, for free, or if you would like to include a traffic boost or a double traffic boost, more on that in just a minute, you can select those from here as well. And then you're going to make sure that you select your short application. And then of course, your ZipRecruiter category. So for this position, it might be under events. Very simply, click on update. So that's, that's how we get our job posted free onto ZipRecruiter.com. If we would like to use the traffic boost, it's very simple. Simply select traffic boost. Uh, let's do the 199. Same application form, it's going to be that short application and this, the category as well. Click on add to basket. And then we're going to simply pay for our advertising right here. You can save your credit card information on file. So let's see if I, it doesn't look like I had one saved. So I'd have to go in and then add that in here. Go down and click on purchase. And then my, my job would be boosted with tip recruiters traffic boost out to that job posting network and out to that email network as well. And with the ZipRecruiter posting, um, you also have the option of adding a widget into your dashboard so you can track your activity. 
So to do that, select your name on the top right of the screen, select user profile and settings, scroll down to the list of widgets where we can go ahead and select Zip Recruiter, Save, back to Dashboard. If I scroll down here, you should see my Zip Recruiter widget. Um, and we have to update the date on this here. There we go. Oh, I just have the one at the moment. So we can see that my account executive has been posted out to ZipRecruiter and we're using the free option. So that's just a way for you to track that information so you can see where your jobs are posted. There is also a job board status report here under the report section where you can see everywhere that we are posting out your jobs, whether they are posted for free or you are paying for sponsorship. So as we mentioned, we are very excited to be working with ZipRecruiter now. One of the great things about ZipRecruiter, not only is it very, very easy, overall we've actually seen a, tra a traffic boost ourselves with the number of applicants coming into I recruit increasing by about 35% over the past past month. Um, but we can see here with the traffic boost, your job can be posted out to up to a hundred different job boards for only $1.99, which is really, really amazing. Um, and that includes up to a hundred visits to your job or are the duration of 30 days, whichever comes first. And with the traffic boost of 2.99, again, you're still getting that um, 30 days or 200 visits, premium job boards, and in addition, job placement email alerts out to targeted groups of candidates. And the goal is 100% satisfaction guarantee and hopefully getting qualified candidates within 24 hours. So I think I just had a couple of questions come in. Let me see if I can pull that up here. Okay, Christine, uh, job applications that come through ZipRecruiter are not complete or in order. Um, I'm not sure how to comment on the in order part of your question, Christine, but if they're not complete, not to worry. Um, that is something that you can address through the applicant profile. So let's see if I have one here that I can show you. All right, I do. So if you have a very short application and you want people to fill out more information, you'll see this tab here, Process Leap. This will actually allow you, and this one has already been done, it will allow you to select the application form that you would like to use. So you can send a request to that person to complete the, the longer application form and you can get more information. All right, I'm not seeing any more questions at the moment. Um, if anyone does have any questions later today or at any other time, feel free to reach out to us through email um, or phone. And I'll thank Bria again for her presentation. And thank you everyone who took the time out of their day to join us. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.